Before you watch rest of the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are related to DevOps and cloud in any way. If you are passionate about DevOps, cloud, AI, preparing for interviews or planning for your first job, looking for a promotion in your current job, you are on the right place. This is where we discuss basic to advanced AWS, Azure, cloud, uh, DevOps related concepts, which help in the day-to-day -day basis in your job. So make sure you subscribe before you watch rest of the video. Yes, I know. Okay, ahead. Yeah, actually, so uh, I just wanted to uh, give you a brief information about myself so that you'll have an idea. So I almost have around 9.9 .9 years of experience in DevOps. And uh, initially, I've worked for four years uh, with minimal experience in CICD, where I was not able to get in-depth into, you know, uh, all the Java-based and, you know, Maven-based scripts and all. So I was only able to... Uh, do production deployments and take care of uh, admin related jobs. Then I switched to another company where I was working as a cloud operations engineer, where I was uh, taking care of mostly, you know, uh, the SRE part where I used to take care of all the uh, priority based tickets where like the customer used to face. So it was kind of a vast company where we had a lot of uh, incidents and P0, P1 kind of uh, tickets coming in. So uh, the thing is, I wanted to get into the DevOps uh, world and uh, <clears throat> I've been trying for last two years and I'm on a career break right now. So what would you suggest uh, me here? I mean, I'm having a hard time cracking interviews, actually. See, I think at this stage, you should, there's hardly any difference between some of the roles that you mentioned that, yes, I want to get into DevOps, SRE, platform engineer. Uh, Cloud operations. Cloud operation is very, very hot. If you have seen some of my old videos, it's yeah. a hot thing because companies have migrated to cloud. They know how to operate in cloud. Uh, they need good people who can do those operations. So I would suggest instead of targeting DevOps engineer roles, or you should just, because you are on a break and if you want to make a re entry into the market, then you get into any, any such relevant role. It doesn't matter. So all these roles will give you some kind of perspective, something okay. for you to not have that much of pressure. That should be the first objective. So get into maybe cloud ops or SL or any such one. Then keep building your skills. If you go with your strengths, maybe you will be able to crack it also relatively better. <laughs> yeah, that is a very good suggestion. Actually, also opted for one of your uh, courses, which is not the live one, the other one. And I'm going through it. It is helping me uh, learning new stuff. So that way I'll, I mean, I'm, I'm just uh, having this question. So for example, if I have any questions or doubts uh, from those uh, recorded sessions, how am I supposed to clear those questions? I mean, yeah, so you are uh, joining some of the sessions as well. Uh, no, Wednesday. I haven't. So oh, you can join. I'll send you a Zoom link. You can join the Wednesday out sessions. You know? So that way, if you get covered. All right. Sure, I guess uh, that was a quick one. But the problem is I'm having a lot of struggles. Uh, you work on those projects. Uh, projects yeah. are meant for uh, helping in create, tracking those interviews. So what those 10 projects give you is that they give you different ingredients and scenarios that you can talk about in your interviews. Uh, and, and they are such scenarios that relate to most of the employers. Mm -hmm. So they will, they will employers will be struggling around, say, compliance, cost, uh, how to standardize their uh, instances, so packer-based images. Uh, they are using Jira Agile, so how does in integrations with Jira Agile get works? Okay. Uh, what else? If they are on Kubernetes, then there are Kubernetes, GitOps deployments. So uh, if they are on Terraform, if they are on Ansible, so these projects cover everything. So you just have to, if you talk to an employer 11 a.m. in the morning and you talk about the projects, very smartly, if you speak to another employer at 3 p.m., you take out two other projects and talk to them, and you will see that some something somewhere will click, and you will you will be able to. Yeah.
it's just also, yes, you have to build them and you have to smartly explain them yeah that's the only uh, i mean it's just the frame of 30 minutes where how articulately we explain Absolutely. the biggest factor here correct so yeah i mean i also observed that uh, the the person who was uh, training is not you it was someone else okay it's sankit uh, shukla he is our uh, hands on expert mm-hmm. we are more of uh, architects so he is okay. these programs require lots of hands on or mm-hmm. parts and ankit covers that brilliantly sure and the was background noises in between but uh, in the in the beginning of of session but after that are you able to hear me there was some uh, some break it some are you able to hear me now yes now it's clear yes so the first recording had some uh, noise issues but i guess i after eventually it improved yeah the first session it was a nightmare so that a uh, lot of people have complained about that so yeah. what happened was at his place uh, at the neighbor's place some religious thing was happening mm-hmm. and uh, that got captured in the audio in the live so is it like uh, one session will be live the second session will be uh, doubt session third will be live and another the fourth will be uh, doubt session that's not like that right? so i guess uh, you have shared me almost around 8 to 9 so we are in midway yes we are midway yeah right Okay, so the next session is going to be on Saturday, right? Next session is Wednesday, the out session, and then Saturday. Session. Okay, sure. I'll I'll make sure that I join them. And all right. All, all right, Sanjeev. Thank Thanks. you. Bye. Bye.